Hey guys, I'm out here in Oakland. I'm gonna be shooting a restaurant called Babite. It's a Mediterranean food place located on Piedmont. I thought it'd be a cool way to share tips and tricks on food photography since I have three shoots at a restaurant today. So come along. <laughs> Alright, so here's my setup. It's just one umbrella into a reflector. This is just the white cardboard that I use. You get it at like Target or something. A flash, some triggers, placemats for that texture. And I shoot with this lens. It's a Sigma 35. I don't really have a macro lens for this, so I, this is what I've been using. It has a really big aperture to blur out and give depth. And it lets me get pretty close to the subject because it's a really wide angle lens. So instead of getting a macro, this is what I've been using for now. But you kill most of the light so your lighting is consistent. Change your white balance to 5400 because you're using a flash now. It doesn't really matter if you're shooting raw, but I just do it anyways, less post. Or do you want to you want to boxes to take it? Are you gonna to want to take anything with you? I'll probably take some. It yeah. looks great. We'll leave it out until you're done. And yeah, because yeah, you, you'll be able to take whatever you want. Thank whatever you so you much. Whatever you want, I'll give away to people on the next. Okay. Paper. Well, give away whatever you want to give away, and I'll take whatever. Yeah, you, you pick first. <laughs> you pick first. I give away a lot of food around here. <laughs> All right, this is the last dish I need to do. I wanted to do some commentary. When you're first shooting a dish, you want to. Look at the main subject, just like in every other picture. For food, it's usually the meats. So, this little piece right here looks pretty good. So I'm gonna focus on that. You don't wanna focus on the background too much because the front is gonna blur. And if it blurs, then it's a really distracting picture. I'm gonna take a couple with this and without the whiteboard so you can see the difference between shadows too. I think the best perks about this job is all the free food I get. All right, I have two hours until my next shoot, so I'm just gonna take a lunch break and eat in my car because that guy just gave me some free food and I don't need to spend any money today. Woo! Look at all these foods. Oh wow, this is pretty bright in there. If you guys ever go to Babite in Piedmont, try the chicken tajin. It's pretty good. My next shoot is in an hour in Oakland at this place called Rudy's Cat Fail Cafe. I think it's a breakfast and brunch place, but we'll see. Dude, check out those clouds. So majestic. Check out all this food that Nan Cafe gave me. Whew, everything looked good when I was shooting it, so I can't wait to go home and try everything. The traffic is pretty bad right now, and it doesn't seem to be getting better. And I'm next to this place called Fish Ranch Road. I might just pull over and play with my drone and wait out traffic and try to catch the sunset. But at the same time, my phone's about to die and I need that to fly my drone, so maybe not. I'll see what happens. I'm gonna go fly my drone through this amazing ass sunset. <laughs> 